Let's talk about Black Klansmen. This is a word. This is a word. This is a word. Hey, y'all. <laughs> I hope that wasn't too scary for everybody, but anyway, welcome back to the vlog. Reg here, and today I'm gonna to talk a little bit about Black Klansmen. Spike Lee is back, y'all. If you checked out my video with Miss King from a couple of days ago, actually, I think I posted it yesterday, if you're watching this today, anyway. We went to see Black Klansmen, and I'm gonna give the movie a thumbs up. It's interesting because a subject like the Ku Klux Klan, you would think would automatically mean it was gonna be, you know, very dark and dramatic, but actually the film film was pretty comedic and kind of uplifting. John David Washington, who is the son of Pauletta and Denzel Washington, leads the cast as the Black Klansman. Some of you may recognize Topher Grace from That 70s Show playing David Duke, of all people. I was really excited. There were a whole bunch of folks that I know from Brooklyn, actually, who made it into the film. Michael Buscemi, Ashley Atkinson. I even noticed a cameo from Brian Fender Shirley, who was in the last two Falcon Works shows that I directed. It's pretty awesome. One question that I have is, just culturally speaking, depending on where you're coming from, this film could either be extremely offensive, extremely disturbing, extremely uplifting, <laughs> extremely hilarious. How's this different than blackface? Overall, Spike Lee, the cast, the cinematography, everything, really, really well done. Go see the film. If you like this review or you like movie reviews, please check out some of my other reviews. I'll put some links in the description box below. I'm also thinking about doing a series on my favorite movies currently on Netflix. If you're interested in a series like that, please do let me know in the comments section. I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. That's it for this video. Like it if you like it. Share, comment, subscribe. This is Reg signing off. Love yourself. Peace. And I love myself. The world is a ghetto.